you all know, I have long been obsessed with space. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what I've yeah. seen. Yeah. 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 Once this husk of a planet is scarred beyond recognition, the lucky 1% of surviving children will all live in space. Godfrey Brothers Toys needs to be prepared for every nightmare scenario. We need to test our toys in space. So we've made an arrangement with CASA. Canada's Airplane and Spaceship Agency. Yes, and they will help us to make a historic journey to the stars, which we will milk for publicity purposes. It's a dream come true. And the face of our new partnership is none other than Canada's beloved hero, astronaut Wiz Banger. Whiz Banger? Really? Whiz Banger! Never heard of him. Well, no, of course not, Daddy. He's Canadian. Yeah, he yeah, should he really move to Los Angeles. No, getting an American agent is what, what you need. He will be judging a competition to see which of you will accompany him to actual space to do this testing. Oh, it's where God lives. Wait, can't we all go? No, only one of you. It's something to do with fuel consumption or something. I don't really understand. It's rocket science. Precisely. Anyway, without further ado, allow me to introduce Canada's national hero, Whiz Banger. Oh! Hello, my fellow Canucks. Let me ask you a question. Are you ready to have your mind filled with endless wonder? Empty and ready. Are you ready to explore the outer limits of your mind, body, and reality itself? Mm. In there. Are you ready to record yourself on video playing an acoustic guitar in zero gravity? I don't play guitar, sir. Oh, we can fix that. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Just put your finger there, there, there. Oh, sorry. Room for improvement. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Because, as you know, what they say is... <laughs> oh, you, you want us to sing? Okay. Everybody loves a loser Cause no one has the claim to fame Everybody loves me Look at the loser! So forget about your aches and pains But don't you know that it turns out the same? Go! My name is Graham It is Well done I am an astronaut. Yeah. And I know about space. You're toy testers. You know about toys. Teach me how to play! And I'll teach you how to space. You'll space your brains out. Get space all over your space! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can joke with our astronaut humor all light year. A light year is a unit of distance. Hey, hey, hey ten points for the spooky one. This is like space Hogwarts. Right? Yeah. There are going to be tests. Physical and psychological. And though I respect you all for trying out, only one of you will come to space. And that'll be me. Oh, five points for confidence. <laughs> Minus five for arrogance. Oh. The universal balance has been maintained. Wait a minute, Jesse, you're an executive. This is a contest for toy testers. I can boss you space cadets around anytime I want. Going to actual space? That's a once in a lifetime opportunity, yo. Therefore, I've demoted myself to Toy Tester. Cocktober, you got my old job. Sorry, buddy, you're no longer eligible for this contest. Very well. I accept. Have fun in space. Thank you. Okay. Drama. That's good. Because space is not for the faint of heart. You're going to be leaving Mother Earth and going to stay with crazy Uncle Space. There's nothing in the fridge. He's been drinking since noon and he's got a half-cocked pistol strapped in his underwear. But that's why they call it adventure. Who is physically prepared for an adventure? We are! Maybe. That's why we have a doctor, just to make sure. All right. Now, everyone, take off your clothes. Slowly. Slowly. Crad, did you have a dream when you were a kid to go to space? Like a kid dream? Like you dream as a kid and say space? Kinda. All right, son. I'm back. And I done changed all my ways. I ain't ever gonna leave you again. Now you tell me where your dream is so that I can get behind you and push. Does that sound good? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now hit me with that dream. I want to be an astronaut. You what? But that's... that's just ridiculous. But... If you'd chosen a more realistic dream, I would have stayed. <laughs> it's your own fault. It's your own fault, really. Again? Fuck you, Dad. Yes! Two points! Two points for passion! In fact, two points for everyone! Yay! <laughs> All right, after the physical, everyone report for psychological testing.
you come across a tortoise in a road. A tortoise? What's that? You know what a turtle is? Sure. Same thing. You flip it on its back. Its belly is baking in the sun. Wouldn't it just quickly leap to its feet? No, it can't. Are you sure? Maybe it's a ninja. It's a turtle. Can't it be both? I ask the questions here, okay? But what if I ask the questions? Do you know how this works? Do you know how this works? Hmm. I like your style, kid. Can I hit that? Yes. You see a turtle in the road. You flip it on its back. Oh man, I've been there. Probably one of his friends flipped it over, you know, like as a prank. I flip it back so it can get home to its daughter, Susie. I hug the turtle. Leave him there. Fucking turtle's gotta learn. I feel bad for doing that to the turtle. Dog. Cat. Fish. Chips. Bird. Chicken hawk. Fat. Husky. What does this make you think of? My favorite comic book, The Watchmen. The Watchmen. Alan Moore's Master Work. That movie with the big blue cock, the, I, I think it was called Big Blue Cock. Huh. Oh God, how did you get a picture of my mother's vagina? You come across a turtle in the road. You flip it on its back. Why would I do that? You tell me. Do you write the questions or do they write them out for you? They're designed to evoke an emotional response. Oh. Shall we continue? Describe in single words only the good things that occur to you when you think about your mother. My mother. Hmm. I'll tell you about my mother. Psychological testing has been completed. One of you has failed. One of you was a replicant. Replicants, I hate you pricks. It's no good. I can't maneuver. Stay on target. We're too close. Stay on target. Lose it up. I think I'm pretty laid back. I got a problem here. Eject. I can hold it. Pull up. No, I'm all right. Sorry, kid. You're out. Too bad, Yabnab. You're not the droid we're looking for. Fuck off! Spicy. All right, Crad. You are next. Good luck, Crad. Don't get cocky. Trust your feelings. Give in to your anger, Crad. My stupid dad. Yes. Let it flow through you. Your hate will make you strong. Well, the dark side is easier and more seductive, so I guess I really can't blame you for trying it. Fuck you, Dad! Ah. Woo! Great shot, Crad! That was one in a million! Such is the power of the dark side. <laughs> Hey, you know where I can score some dark side? I'm looking to go a little renegade, if you know what I mean. Yes, good. Give in to your anger. Okay. I knew you would come. I had foreseen it. Uh, great. So, can I get a bag of dark side? Oh, you want this? Yeah, that's why I'm here. I am unarmed. Strike me down and your journey to the dark side will be complete. Can I just pay you? Oh, I'm afraid that's not how this operation works. Wow. Your sales technique is your weakness. Your faith in your friends is yours. You know, I'm just gonna stick with red sand. I should go. <laughs> yes. Good. Good. <laughs> uh, I wish I had some friends. Yeah. And then there were three. Wait, wait. There's someone else here. Danger. Danger is here. Now that you're so close, there's something you should know. There's a great chance you won't be coming home. In space, everything can kill you. 
Suffocation. Depressurization. Radiation exposure. Burning up in the atmosphere. Catastrophic mechanical failure. Space monsters coming out of your stomach. Jeez, you know, I, I have a daughter. Oh, a gambling man. I like your style. <laughs> I hope you're well insured. Not really. <laughs> mm, not like me. I'm insured up the wazoo. I almost hope something goes wrong. I'm like a Van Gogh. I'm worth more dead than alive. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Not like you. You're worthless both ways. Actually, Crad is currently in the lead. What? What? Really? Yep. You're the closest to winning, and you have the most to lose. Ah, roll them bones. Woo-ah! I just needed to see you. Why? Are you okay? Yeah, it's just... There's this opportunity to maybe go to space through work. Uh, it's kind of a competition thing. Space? Like your childhood dream space? A little bit. That's awesome, Dad. Go for it. Yeah, but there's a chance I could die. <laughs> sure, but you could just be walking down the street and get hit by a truck like Mom did. Your mom's gonna be all right. Eventually. <laughs> exactly. I don't even have a will. Yes, you do. Remember when I took you to the lawyer? Right, yeah. Did I leave you anything? You're very generous. I gotta go to school now. Love you, Dad. I love you too, babe. Hey, Crad, if you want to go to space so bad, you know, I can just drop out of the competition thingy. I love quitting stuff. You don't smoke. Not anymore. Ha-ha! Quitting's fun! No, man, I can't ask you to do that. I know you want to go to space. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens. Wiz has asked me to help out on the next batch of tests. I warn you, things are going to get harder. What is the next test? The airlock is leaking. Badly. The navigation system has been smashed by the space monster that just came out of Jesse's stomach. God damn it. You still have three hit points. You're still in. I drink a glass of Wang. The Wang restores you to health. Quick thinking. Addison, your turn. Okay. I go to the airlock door. Careful. It's leaking. And I grab the emergency handle thingy. Are you sure? You didn't check for traps. No, I didn't. Addison, what are you doing, man? There's a contact toxin on the handle. Save versus poison. Okay. Whoops! Critical miss. Addison. You die, succumbing to the poison. In death, your sphincter relaxes, taxing the waste collection system of your spacesuit. As I die, I give a thumbs up to my buddy Crad. You didn't have to do that, man. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> okay. It's down to you, Crad. I take Addison's lifeless body, and I use it to plug the hole in the airlock. Success. Crisis averted. Good work, Crad. Good work, Jesse. Looks like it's down to the two of you. All you did is drink a glass of Wang. That's an important part of being an astronaut. Did you see my commercial? Hey, October, wasn't your dad in that commercial? Hmm. Well, 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 Crad. Looks like it's just me and you. Yeah, that's right. I heard this is your, like, kid dream or whatever. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, well, it's not a very realistic dream. Maybe if you had a more realistic dream, your father wouldn't have left you as a kid. When he left you, did he say that? Mmm, burn! I heard he said that. You know me. I'm Canadian astronaut Wiz Banger, and there's nothing I like better in my mouth than the fresh taste of Wang. Wang isn't just for space. You can have Wang anywhere. Isn't that right, Dick? Damn right. Dick loves Wang. I love Wang. Well, that's why they call me Wiz. I drink too much Wang. Oh, I'm going to little boy's room. Care to join, Dick? Long as I can have some Wang when we get there. Give me some of your Wang. Whoa! Keep your hands off my Wang, Dick. Get a little Wang in you. Well, it's the perfect thing to wash down a bag of cocks. Next up is the sensory deprivation chamber. Inside here, the enemy is your own mind. What? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of
kind of nice, actually. <laughs> Grant! My dad never called me that. Tyler! Okay, that's better. This is not a realistic dream, son! Your pie's in the sky! Pie in the sky, boy! Where should a pie be? On a windowsill, sir. Oh, come on, a drifter will take it. Use your head. Sorry, Dad. That's it. I'm leaving this hallucination. Uh, go ahead. You always leave everywhere anyway. Well, you really stood up to me there, son. But since this is a hallucination, you really stood up to yourself. I guess I did. <laughs> there might be some hope for you after all, boy. Guess he won the chair spinning. But Crad did very well at the sensory deprivation chamber. But now is the final and most difficult test of all. Something in my throat. That's freaking me out. In this virtual reality, you are commander of a space shuttle. And you're under attack! I got this. Raise shields. Ready photon beams. Number one, go take a number two. Mm, yeah, it's on screen. Ooh, magnify. Jesse uh, really seems to know what he's doing. Supreme confidence. Swizz up, alien fuckwaller. I'm gonna move into your mom's vagina. Engage. That's some serious trash talk. He's like Space Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, I've got your Triumph Directive right here, biatches. Mr. Dwarf, fire proton beams. Make it so. Oh, yeah. Oh, explosion. T. Earl Grey. Hot. And that is how it is done. No mistakes. Very impressive performance, Jesse. Interesting. Grad, looks like you're up. I'll do my best. You better do better than that, Tyler. Oh, his name. Your forces are surrounded, Captain Crad. You die now, not later. Now. Uh, shields up. Fire weapon. Your shields are at 30%. Fire weapon's back. Oh, your weapons are damaged, malfunctioning. Uh, open a channel. I'll try to negotiate. Do you wish to plead for your life? Would that work? No. Listen to me. We came to space to make friends and to meet and learn from amazing races such as yours. We come in peace, can't we? Start again. Your words have touched me, human. Hey. In a bad way, a molesting way. Wait, wait, wait. Your weakness is pathetic. Fire our weapons. No. Looks like your ship was destroyed, Cred. Aw, game over, man. Not like me. I got through that like shit through a goose. Woohoo! And how did you manage that, Jesse? This simulation was purposefully designed to be unwinnable. I did it by cheating. Like, like Kirk. I was thinking outside the box. So I guess that means I'm the victor. No, you're eliminated for cheating. What? But I'm like Kirk! Your non-inside-the-box thinking may fly in some American agency. But this is the CASA. Cheaters never prosper. What a glass of wang. What a sore loser. But you, Crad, you acted like a true Canadian. You apologized, negotiated, and ultimately lost. That means you win. Yes! Crad, <laughs> you're going to space! <laughs> well done, Crad. Oh, I wish you guys could come with me. Actually, I think we can. Oh, I wish it were so, but... Unfortunately, fuel efficiency and cargo weight are a harsh mistress. I took a look at the numbers during all the spare time I had doing Jesse's cushy job. What now? You see, if you carry the two and quantumize the Pythagorean coefficient, it is possible to dramatically increase fuel efficiency. By Terry Fox's good leg. You are right! Oh, yeah. If Y equals seven, that will triple the passenger weight allowance. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. What? It's rocket science, not rocket science. If this checks out, you guys deserve a reward. <gasps> I choose five dollars. Or maybe my friends could come to space with me. Oh yeah, space! Too bad about the five dollars. You'll be all right. It's highly unorthodox. But what the heck? You guys are going to space. <laughs> you mean it? Why not? You guys have the right stuff. 
Yeah! You got the space stuff! You wait here. I'll go pack. Drink it in, boys. Mother Earth. You've left the womb now. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's okay, I guess. You did it, Grad. You made all of our dreams come true. Well, thanks to Casa. Me, Casa, and Sue Casa. Thanks, Wiz. That's been a great week. Well, we'd better get to work testing these My Baby Seals toys in space. My dad said I'd never do this. <laughs> well, fuck you, Dad. Fuck you. Don't worry, Grad. I'm sure wherever he is, he's watching it right now. You see that? He did it. He finally left the planet. Looks like all that tough parenting really paid off. Oh, sure did. <laughs> I think he's ready. Pray that he is. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're right, Danger Car. I hope you're right. It's come to the attention of the makers of Wang that some of you are allergic to it. Well, we sent our formula down to our labs in Regina, Saskatchewan, and came up with a fresh new alternative to Wang. And its name is inspired by the city where it was created. Introducing Wang Gina. Mmm, Wang Gina. Because not everybody is a fan of Wang. And for those of you who like something different, Wang and Wangina go great together. I disagree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>